Today, I will show you how to import Orthophotos or GOT files in AutoCAD and BricsCAD. And as a bonus, I will show you how I use CAD Orthophotos in my survey project. I am Stefan Niculescu. I've been a land surveyor for more than 20 years and welcome to my channel Flying Surveyor, where I'm sharing my expertise and passion for surveying with a wider audience. Before I start, I need to mention that the Orthophotos needs to be in national coordinate system, not WGS84, format easting and northing, and the unit needs to be meters or feet if you are living in the US. Let's start first with the uh, Briscard because it's the simplest way to import um, a Orthophoto GOT file. So once you open it, you go to insert, attach raster image, and you select your file, I'll select this one. And as you can see, it, it recognizes BricsCAD recognize the, the metadata and it's just straightforward. You have all the data here. It's just so easy. And press OK. Now we double click and you can see your T file, your Orthophoto. And now let's go to AutoCAD, which is a bit more complex. Now in AutoCAD, it's a bit more complex. As you can see in uh, BricsCAD, you had that option even on the light version like I have. So um, AutoCAD doesn't recognize the metadata from your GeoTIFF. So you are gonna need to install an add-on. So what we are gonna do is go to add-ins. Uh, as you can see, I already installed it. It's called GeoRef images. How can you find this one? You go to app manager. You gonna go to this launch the Autodesk Aptor website now you're gonna pop up a window in your browser on the app uh, Autodesk and uh, we're gonna search here geo uh, ref AMG, as you can see here okay this one is the add-on the app for your um, AutoCAD you press download I already did that and um, I was seeing in AutoCAD now we're back in AutoCAD uh, if you go to add in you're gonna see here the add-on uh, the software geo ref image and if you go to app manager you're gonna see it here installed where you can uninstall update and close this but before we continue you need to know that together with your tiff image you're gonna need the tfw file that will give the reference how to align the geotiff to the coordinates i'm gonna show you how to get the tfw in qgis we now in QGIS and uh, I'm going to show you how to export your TFW uh, file which is needed to import uh, data in AutoCAD and not only, also in other softwares. So we have our Orthophoto, we press right click, export, save as, um, just press output mode, render image, that's essential for AutoCAD, otherwise you will not recognize your file. Um, you put a file name which is test ortho photo and you're gonna select your cis coordinate system which for me is osgb 36 as i live in uk very important now on you need to tick create options and you need to press the plus sign and on the name you're gonna double click and put tfw and you're gonna put the value yes you need to validate okay all is good you recognize the comment you unselect this and press okay now after you export it you're gonna see your t file and you're gonna see your tfw that contains the information uh, needed for um, autocad or another software to align your image so if you go to notepad you open it in notepad you're gonna see here the information needed for the software to align your orthophoto now we're back in in AutoCAD and um, you need to go to add-ins you're gonna need to attach image uh, browse for your image okay and double click you're gonna see this image if you press ID you're gonna see it's not in coordinates so what you're gonna do is press on this big GeoRef IMG okay select objects and what happened it went into coordinates so if you press on ID again and you press here that is the coordinating OS 
for that point. I recommend to check against your CSV, your um, survey file, and against also the QGIS, just to make sure everything is all right. And now I promised, I will show you how I use orthophotos in um, CAD. I'm back in Bricks CAD. This is what I use daily. And the first thing that I use it for, which is the obvious in my opinion, is to draw 2D maps. Basically, you have this, you're gonna create a new layer. Um, I'm gonna call this one fence and choose a color green okay and then you're gonna select it you just gonna trace this one polyline and just follow the line of the fence for the poster okay I think you got the point. So I'll make this a bit transparent. I'll go transparency and put 50%. And now, okay, the contrast is bigger. And let's say you're gonna create a road, you're gonna press uh, plus a new layer and road and let's say this one is gonna be red and just gonna trace the polyline again and just trace the road and you need to select the layer and then polyline and just select the road Okay, so you got the point. Second one that I use is as a background for my topographical survey. This topo survey was done classical with the GPS. And usually I give my client an ortho photo, a drone survey just for background so he knows exactly what's what. You see, it aligns pretty well in the level of third thing that I use the ortho photos in CAD is to check the design to see exactly where things are falling so this is the design for the same and this is just a very rough design this was just for tender and uh, as you see you want to check exactly where things are going with the road probably redesign this one yeah okay you see the boundary another thing that I use it for is actually to check the works like an house build after setting out or after uh, execution so this one is actually um, a plate it was a prefab uh, restaurant it was a i think it was a mcdonald's and uh, as you see i just wanted to check roughly just keep in mind this was this was done with a um, mini 2 because it was in a urban area the precision is probably up to 50 mil so you need to take in consideration that that was just a rough check you can see here the curves you can see exactly how the curves you see slightly miss the line number that's no issue this is another thing that i use the ortho photos in autocad if you found this video useful press the like button uh, subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you on the next one